A set of three brothers are at the centre of love, drama and tragedy in the lives of Prince Harry and Prince William. The Van Strabenzi boys were classmates of the young princes at Ludgrove School and have remained close friends into their adult years. Henry, Thomas and Charlie all get mentioned numerous times in Harry's highly anticipated autobiography. The Van Strobenzi family, originally from the Netherlands, are members of the landed gentry of Spenethorne, North Yorkshire, and have a strong military tradition. One of the biggest revelations to come out of Spare is Harry's bombshell claim that he wasn't William's best man, and it was in fact one of the aforementioned brothers. Another was secretly one of Harry's best men, while the middle brother tragically died at a heartbreakingly young age. The older brother was William's best man, as Harry complained in Spare, and the younger one, Henry, was Harry's good friend. In Spare, he talks about how Henry died when he was 18 in a car crash, and just like Mummy, hadn't been wearing a seatbelt. No idea if the family wants to be mentioned in this book and wants the seatbelt mentioned. At the annual fundraiser memorial for Henry, the Van Straubenzi brother that died, Meghan and Harry attended, and Harry chose the Van Straubenzi platform about poverty and education to discuss how Meghan cares about menstruation. As my wife said many years ago when working on menstrual health and health education, this isn't about periods, but potential, Harry said. Then Meghan reads a poem about activism at the memorial. Can't even imagine what this family thinks about the Harry and Meghan, but they're still close to William and Catherine. Eldest brother Thomas has been close with both Harry and William since their school days, but there's been recent controversy over his best man's status. The eldest Van Strobenzi brother is one of Princess Charlotte's five godparents. Now, we all saw the imagery of William and Harry walk into Westminster Abbey on that sunny April day in 2011, when the now Prince of Wales married Catherine. Harry now claims that being the best man at his brother's wedding was a lie and was all for show. Now, this is where things get weird. The reason Harry gives for not being William's best man is that he didn't provide the best man's speech. Okay, well, that's a downright lie. However, multiple people have pointed out that numerous stories at the time said Harry did give the best man's speech. The two friends of William's mentioned in Spur were the comedic relief as pointed out by an article by the Mirror. Finally, Harry was the best man for the third brother in August 2018, shortly after him and Meghan got married. There were lots of photos of Meghan at the wedding on Getty Images, and lots of paparazzi there that day calling out to her. Shame for the bride. It was also Meghan's birthday. There are many photos of her taken before the one with a bra showing where her dress is fully buttoned up. Her hand seems to be strangely in exactly the right position to be unbuttoning her own blouse. She's staring directly at the paparazzi and smiling, as she always does. You can tell by the positions of the people that this immediately precedes the many photos of her in the same spot with a dress unbuttoned. 